What's up video Ford Nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. So in this video we're going to be looking at how to apply some animation to our helicopter. So first of all uh, we want to just click on our helicopter and because we grouped it we just need to open that group first. So we're going to click on groups at the top and then click on open. And this will just allow you to click on the different parts of your helicopter but you can also just click on the box around it and that will select the entire helicopter. So first of all, we're gonna apply some animation to the blades or the rotor at the top. I'm not sure what the technical name is, but we are just gonna call them the blades for now. And let's just go to the left view and try and animate them this side. So you'll see there's a little box around this area of this uh, blade section. So that's basically called a helper object and the blades are connected or linked to that helper object. And this just makes it a bit easier to, to uh, control some stuff in your scene. So we just need to, to rotate that box and that will actually rotate the blades as well. So with this helper selected, make sure that this is set to local because we want to rotate it around the local axis of that object and then click on rotate. And let's just do a quick test. So if we rotate around this middle axis, you'll see that those uh, blades will actually just spin, which is correct. And let's just undo that quickly. Okay, so let's enable auto key here at the bottom. So click auto key and then click on the key to create a keyframe on the first frame. And then let's go to frame 200. And let's just spin this around a couple of times. So just hold in your mouse and just move it to the right. So we've got a spinning motion on that. And let's click auto key off again. I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit. And if we scrub through here, you'll see that we've got some spinning animation on that blade. So the next thing that we want to animate are these blades at the back. They're also linked to a helper. So just click on the helper around them. Make sure that this is set to local here at the top. So what you can do with that helper selected, just click on one of these axes in your camera view and it might be a little bit easier to rotate it in this view. So if you click and drag and just make sure that it's rotating around the correct axes. So we've got the right one there. So I'm just going to undo that and make sure you're on the first frame. Click on auto key and let's set a keyframe. Let's go to the last frame, frame 200 and let's just spin that around a few times. Okay, and then click on auto key again to disable that. So let's just preview that quickly. If we look at the left view and I just scrub through here, you'll see that blade is actually spinning. And now we're just gonna fine tune these animations because obviously we only gave them a couple of rotations and we will probably need to up those. So first of all, let's go to the top blade section and click on the helper around it. And with that selected, we're gonna open the curve editor. So click the curve editor at the top. So it's gonna start off slowly, it's gonna spin and then it's gonna slow down and then stop. So that's not really what we want. So we want to just select this keyframe right at the top and then click on this set to linear. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna do the same with the bottom one. So just select that keyframe and click this linear line there. So now we've got a constant speed of that blade um, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, we also want to increase the amount of rotations. So with this top keyframe selected, I'm just gonna try and move that upwards. So you can just click on this keyframe, drag it up, and you can also hold in control on your keyboard to snap to that line. So I'm just gonna move it up a bit, just drag this down, holding down the middle mouse button and then we're gonna click that again and just drag it up some more. And this is gonna be um, trial and error just to get that speed right. So I'm gonna close the graph editor quickly and I'm just gonna play this back. You'll see that the animation is gonna play back quite slowly because we've got this image in the background. So to disable this background, I'm gonna click on rendering and then I'm gonna to go to environment and then I'm just gonna disable this use map just like that for now and that will just disable it temporarily. So if you scrub through this now, uh, you'll see the animation will play a lot smoother and if we can even play the animation back here at the bottom, uh, just make sure that you're on your camera view. So just click inside your camera view and uh, then just play that back. And we've got a uh, nice and smooth animation going on and you can see the blades are spinning nice and quick. Okay, so let's select the helper around this back rotor. Just click on it and then we're gonna open the curve editor at the top again and we're going to do a similar thing here. So let's just uh, select the first keyframe, click on linear, and let's do the same for the second one. Click on linear just to make that constant. And then we're going to zoom out a bit. I'm just using my mouse wheel to zoom in and out here. And I'm going to select this keyframe and I'm going to drag it down, hold in control to snap. And let's just move this up a little bit, span around. 
and let's just drag this down maybe somewhere there that should be enough let's close this down and let's play it back okay so if you play it back it actually looks like that um, blade is spinning really slowly but if you look at the helper box you can see it's it's moving really fast okay let's just save our project so i'm going to go to save as again and i'm going to call this one version 3 okay just so that we have different versions if we need to go back to a previous version click on save okay next we want to animate the entire helicopter so that it actually just takes off and goes out of the view of the camera so um, let's go to the side view so i'm just going to zoom out here a little bit and then you can click on this box around the helicopter so just click on that box and it will select the entire helicopter and if we move this you'll see that everything will move together okay so i'm just going to undo that move and um, let's enable auto key for this one and let's go to around frame let's say frame 20 and i'm going to set a key so click on the little key icon and then we've got a keyframe there and then let's move forward to frame 200 and let's move our helicopter up and just have a look at your camera view on this side so i'm going to move it up so it's just outside of the shot and then i'm going to rotate it on the correct axis so make sure you're rotating on the correct axis so that should be the tilting forward axis um, so i'm just going to tilt it slightly forward like that and then i'm also going to move it in a forward direction but also make sure that your uh, controls here at the top are set to local and we want to move it in that direction which is the green arrow so i'm just going to pull it forward like in that direction something like that and as you can see it's coming back into the shot so it doesn't really matter you can play around with this you can create your own animation this is just a guideline so i'm going to move it up a little bit like that and let's just disable auto key and look at our animation okay so i'm just going to play that back quickly okay so my top rotor is actually not moving fast enough as you can see it's it's going around but quite slowly so let's speed that up a bit make sure you're on the rotate selection here at the top click on that helper at the top so it's this one here and then we're going to open the curve editor again okay so i'm just going to zoom out here a little bit and you'll see this blue line is basically our rotation so let's just zoom out all the way and like that and you can see we are currently at a value of 2300 so i'm going to select that keyframe and i'm just going to drag it upwards holding a control key to snap and let's just move it quite high Okay, so I'm passing uh, 4,000 here on the side. Uh, let's take it up to about 5,000 should be enough. Okay, let's close it and let's just preview that again. Okay, let's play it back. Okay, that's looking much better. The rotor is spinning nice and quick. Let's just put our background um, in this shot again. So I'm going to go back to rendering and then environment. And then I'm just going to tick this use map that will place that background back into the scene. So if we scrub through this, it's not looking too bad. Um, it looks like it's going to hit this metal uh, structure here, but I think that's actually fine. So yeah, you can obviously play with your animation. You can make it take off on this side or even towards the camera. That's all up to you. So this is just for demonstration purposes. All right, so let's save a new version. So I'm going to go to file and then save as and let's call this one version 4 click on save and that's how you add animation to your scene also be sure to check out video4.com for some awesome clips to practice with and i'll see you guys in the next video